Hey guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter. And so many of you have been asking me, how do you make sticker resin pieces? So I figured I'd give you guys a mini tutorial on how to integrate a sticker into a resin piece. And equally, some of you said, what do I do with resin pieces? Well, you can turn them into a lot of different things. Keychains, necklaces, all the cool stuff. And so for this week, I'm going to show you guys how to make a cute little chipmunk keychain made out of resin. Now, of course, stickers depend on what you have in your area. My stickers are bought from Japan, which is a terrible obsession. Don't forget to check out my sticker collection video. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Here's what you'll need for this project. A sticker of choice. For this one, I am just using a very chubby chipmunk. A heart mold. I got this from Amazon. White mica or perlex powder. Iridescent hexagons. A dark pink glitter. Orange tinsel glitter green cellophane glitter, some real candy sprinkles. If you don't have any, feel free to make some with your clay. Made with love charm, a lobster clasp, a small piece of chain, and a small veil. And of course, your resin kit. I got this at Michael's. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your resin and mix it up. If there are bubbles, that's okay. That's just the chemical reaction. So you're going to let it settle for about 10 minutes and most of the bubbles should be gone. And then you're going to pour it in your mold and wait at least 20 minutes before putting in the sticker. If your sticker floats, I found a really neat trick that works. You're going to move it around in the resin or lift it up to make sure that you remove whatever air bubble might be stuck underneath. That's going to help. Once your sticker is down, you can go ahead and put your sprinkles. Those are heavy pieces and we do want them to be in the front. Now you're going to wait at least two hours. You want the resin to be extremely tacky. And then you're going to put your pink glitter, your orange tinsel, and a little bit of your cellophane green. And then after an hour, you're going to put your white Perlex powder, brush it in the back. By then your resin should be a little sticky, but not runny. So you should be able to run your toothpick across the back without it holding. Once you put your Perlex layer, you're going to mix in your resin with white paint. I know a lot of crafters say not to put paint in resin, but you actually can. It just takes a little longer to cure. So make sure you give it at least 20 hours before unmolding it. Otherwise, it will stay sticky. But I found that after that, it actually does harden just like any other piece. So here's the moment of truth. And <laughs> it's absolutely adorable. I love making colorful pieces. Now, the choice is yours. You can make it into a keychain, a necklace, anything you want. But it's always good to have a bail. Make sure that you do sand the back if it's not very straight. You want to make sure that you get rid of pieces that look like this. Just take a sandpaper and remove the excess. Now the only thing left to do is to glue your bail, put your chain and your jump ring and put it all together. All done. If you have any resin questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to make a video about it. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Until then, I will see you guys next week.